Some Pokemon only evolve one time. Why? I don't know. But today we're gonna check out some of the most deserving Pokemon that need another evolution. Okay, so getting into the Pokemon now, one of the reasons Pikachu. why I wanted to cover this topic is because there's a lot of two-stage Pokemon out there that look like they could really use a third form. Ooh. And one of those Pokemon, in my opinion, is Swellow. Oh, Swellow is such a sick Pokemon! This is definitely gonna be a good one. Swellow is the evolved form of Talo, who is Hoenn's starting bird Pokemon, and most of the time, starting birds evolve twice. That's Talo true. is the only starting bird, other than Hoot Hoot, that only evolves one time, so I think it could definitely stand to get a second evolution to help it stand out amongst its feathered Route 1 brethren. And this design by Fatmon on DeviantArt shows what that could look like. Whoa! That is crazy! I don't really understand it though, like... Is he part cloud? Is that like what the tail is? I don't know. I wonder what its name would be as well. But Swellow, in my opinion, is easily one of the coolest starter birds ever. But one thing that is cool about Pokemon is they are always adapting their game, adding new forms, adding new evolutions to Pokemon. So who knows, man? Maybe one day we'll get this evolution. Now, this design in particular was conceived as a mega evolution, which will also be the case for several other entries on this list. But even still, I feel that it illustrates how Swellow could be built upon and built upon well in in an evolution. I definitely think there's room to grow with Swellow's design, in addition to just giving it that third stage evolution that most of its other generational counterparts have, so I think a Swellow evolution could be pretty stinking cool. I agree, I think that that would be sick. But before we continue with this list, make sure that you guys comment down below which Pokemon you think deserve another evolution. And maybe they'll be on this list. Even if it's probably not very likely. Another Pokemon that could use a second- Um, cut out him saying, even if it's not very likely, and just get right into the next one. And if it's probably not very likely. Another Pokemon that could use a second evolution Sharpedo! just to make it a little more relevant Show me is Sharpedo. Finneon and Luminion. Oh. Although I completely disagree with this myself, these two are constantly- Wait, well, how is he gonna say that he completely disagrees with it himself, but it's his own video! At first I thought it was gonna be Sharpedo, Sharpedo would've been sick, but it does already have a Mega Evolution, so I guess it wouldn't really work. He talked about as one of the most forgettable Pokemon from Gen 4. Definitely. And just like with Swellow, I think Luminion still has enough room to grow that it could get an evolution mm, and really know. help this family out in terms of their public perception. This design by Smiley Fakemon on DeviantArt shows exactly why oh, this is the case, probably. and if Luminion ever got an evolution like this, I feel like it would skyrocket this family in terms of their popularity and would redeem them in a lot of ways. This one was designed as a Mega as well, but it clearly illustrates the potential for a full-blown evolution too, and since I am a big fan of these Pokemon personally, that just makes me want to see a Luminion evolution happen even more. The problem with Luminion is that it's, first of all, such an ugly Pokemon. Like, does anyone look at that as like, wow, that is cool? But also the stats are trash. Like, there's nothing about it that is that cool. And also there's already so many fish Pokemon that, I hate to say it, it's kind of just another fish in a big old sea. So if you want to be a popular fish Pokemon, you gotta have something epic about you. And Luminion has none of that. One Pokemon that I personally feel uh, just yeah, hasn't Kyogre. fulfilled the potential it has is Heliolith. Oh. Along with its pre-evolution Helioptile, these are some excellent Pokemon. You know what? I don't know why this is popping in my head, but now that I think about it, I totally agree! For some reason, Helioptile, uh, this, again, popped in my head, don't know why, it reminds me of Charmeleon. Like, like, uh, it goes from Charmander to Charmeleon, and then, wah! Charizard. I feel like Helioptile could totally evolve into something epic, like a, but like not, well, kind of like Charizard, I guess. But it honestly just seems like something was <laughs> left on the table, when it comes to this family being just a two-stage line. The thing that irks me in particular is that these Pokemon center heavily around the sun, with Heliolisk in particular mm. using it as heavy inspiration, and yet these two are electric normal types instead of electric fire. 
Electric Fire isn't a type that's been done yet, and it's a really cool combination which could have been done really well with this line. I also feel like they look like mini dragons, like little lizards that still have so much potential to grow into a giant lizard, aka dragon or Komodo dragon. And it's all the more reason, in my opinion, as to why they should have a second evolution. This is why I took it upon Ooh. myself to right this wrong when I created Heliovin for my Pokemon Cardinal series, with the help of Oscar Belmonte. This design, in my opinion, really fulfills the potential that Heliolisk has to turn into something truly awesome, and yes, of course, it is an electric fire type. As Generation 6 becomes older and older, the likelihood that Kalos Pokemon will be revisited someday just grows higher and higher, and I hope when that time comes that Helioptile and Heliolisk are given the spotlight with an evolution. Yeah, I can see it. I don't think I ever would have put Helioptile on my list of Pokemon that need more evolutions, but after he mentioned it, I, I kind of like it. Similar to the Helioptile family, another Pokemon that could have some amazing potential in a second evolution... Oh. Before he continues, I haven't said any of the ones that I think deserve an evolution, but the number one Pokemon that I think, at least off the top of my head, 100% need an evolution is Tropius, dude. Like, that is the coolest Pokemon ever, but it's just so trash. It needs another form. It needs something to make it good because it's one of the coolest designs in all of Pokemon. Is Blitzel and Zebstrika. Okay. Not only do I feel that there is still room to grow with Zebstrika and that it could turn into something amazing, but I also feel like it loses a little bit upon evolving from Blitzel. Blitzel has a really unique, cool, and charming look to it, which kind of falls flat in my opinion when it evolves into Zebstrika. Agree, so another actually. evolution could see it rebound and return to all of those awesome qualities it had in its pre-evolution. I feel like the design for Zebstrika was, they pretty much followed the Rapidash line with Ponyta and Rapidash. Like they, they just took a horse, they put a typing on it, and then they said, here's tiny horse, here's big horse. Here's tiny electric horse, here's big electric horse. And that's sort of what Zebstrika is. This design by Naiji and I do on cool. Instagram, while designed as a mega, is a perfect example of the amazing potential that a third stage has for this family. This design in particular does exactly what I said a Zebstrika evolution can do. It brings back all of the cool and unique qualities that make Blitzel great and adds an incredible amount of strength and just straight up awesomeness to its look as well. So with the ability to save this entire line from relative obscurity and there being room to grow with a third stage, I think Blitzel and Zebstrika should definitely be looked at to receive an evolution someday. This next one is another one that ha I don't really like Zebstrika. That's that's my thing. So I honestly don't care if it gets an evolution or not. Has to do with something of my own creation, and that would be a second evolution for Minchino and Sinchino. While maybe not as necessary as the others on this list, Sinchino is still a Pokemon that, as a final evolution, doesn't really change much from its pre-evolution, and has always felt kinda small and dainty to me for a final evolution. Well, low-key, Minchino is like, actually, I mean, it's not great, but it's pretty good, actually. It's, it's not that bad. As such, it would be cool to see Sinchino gain the ability to evolve again and become something like Sinchilla here. Another Pokemon from my Pokemon Cardinal series, drawn by Oscar Belmonte. Now, admittedly, this is a more unique take for an evolution of Sinchino, since it's part psychic type, and I'm not exactly expecting that to happen in real life either. But, if nothing else, I think it does show that a Sinchino evolution could be pulled off and pulled off well. And with these two kind of being a bit of a blank canvas anyway, an evolution that goes in a more creative direction, such as Sinchilla, could be an excellent fit for these Pokemon. One Pokemon that a lot of people have wanted to see an evolution for I know it's not technically like Minchino or Sinchino, but that new Pokemon from Scarlet and Violet, Mousehold? Mousehold? I feel like it's pretty much an evolution of this thing. I don't know. They're so similar to me. These Pokemon. One Pokemon that a lot of people have wanted to see an evolution for, or at Ooh. least a Mega, is Pyroar. 
This is because when It and Litleo were first seen, many speculated that they might end up evolving into a Manticore Pokemon, which would be all kinds of unbelievably awesome, but sadly, that never came to fruition. What is the Manticore Pokemon? I, he says that as if I was supposed to know what that means. I don't know what that means. But I assume it means like a really good Pokemon. I'm not gonna lie, the first time I saw Pyroar, I thought it was gonna be sick. I was like, dude, it looks like a legendary Pokemon almost, but it's trash. It is actually so bad. Like it, it, it's really, really bad. And it's a shame too, because I really do like Lit Leo as, his, as the first evolution. With the way Pyroar is designed, I don't necessarily think it looks like it needs an evolution, but I also feel like the prospect of a fire type Manticore Pokemon is just too good to pass up. Okay. And this- I gotta look up what Manticore means now. Manticore, a legendary animal with the head of a man, the body of a lion, and the tail of a dragon or scorpion. Oh, okay, well the evolution has a scorpion scorpion tail. I mean, this just looks like a lion to me. I don't know how it's a manticore. I feel like the prospect of a fire type manticore Pokemon okay. is just too good to pass up. And this design by Fatmon on DeviantArt shows exactly why. Okay, that is pretty sick. At first I was pretty skeptical. I was like, I don't know if I think I'm you know but that's pretty cool. The concept is just the perfect combination of cool and strong, and the opportunity is just there for the taking. I have no doubt that if a Pyroar evolution like this ever did really happen, it would easily be one of the coolest Pokemon of all time. So I would love to see it happen someday. Uh, yeah, that would be As of sick. right now, the Galar Pokemon are the newest set of Pokemon that we have. And when we finally got our hands on Sword and Shield, one Pokemon that I was somewhat surprised to see didn't evolve again was Eldegoss. Oh. We got introduced to Eldegoss. And oh, Dreadnought would be a good one to evolve. Ah, <sighs> and Dubwool. But yeah, there's actually a couple Pokemon here that I feel like definitely deserve evolutions. Eldegoss? I don't really care about it, to be honest and Gossifleur prior to Sword and Shield's release, and due to Eldegoss's appearance, as well as this family, clearly being that early game grass type, I kinda figured it would be a three-stage line just like many of the other similar grass types from other regions, but unfortunately, that didn't happen. If it did though, it would definitely have a lot of potential, as this design by Trainer Mats on Instagram illustrates. This definitely could have been the Sarina of Galar, which again is kind of what this family of Pokemon is anyway, hence why I was so surprised to see that Gossifleur only evolves once. Mm. In hindsight, it does make sense with Eldegoss being an Elder and all, and how could you really evolve past an Elder Pokemon, but again, this design shows how it could work. And as someone who really likes this line a lot, but wouldn't really use them with Eldegoss being the final stage, I would have loved it if this family would have got a second evolution. I don't know. That's like the first one I'm like, ah! Some Pokemon just like don't deserve another evolution. Like what do you, he even said himself, like what do you even evolve it into? Exactly! Don't evolve it! That thing is trash! We don't need to evolve that thing. No one cares. No one can evolve Dreadnought. That would be sick. That would be cool. Let's do that. That's what I'm saying. One Pokemon that has never really done it for me is Darmanitan. What are you talking about? Darmanitan is sick. Darmanitan is so cool. How do you not like Darmanitan? He does have like his Zen form though. So he kind of has other, oh, he has Galarian form too. So he, he does have other forms, but I, know, I guess he could evolve. Ever since I first saw it, I felt it looked really strange and almost like it didn't quite fit as an actual Pokemon. This is of course my own that, personal actually. opinion, but on top of that, it's another one of those two-stage Pokemon that just kinda looks like it could have some room to grow, and I think it would be awesome if it did actually get an evolution. Now, this one is purely hypothetical because with Darmanitan's Zen mode, it's extremely unlikely to get an evolution on top of that. But as this design Ooh, for a Mega Darmanitan shows, which has been done by Bad Afra on DeviantArt, it could still look awesome nevertheless, and I think this kind of thing would be able to work as a regular evolution too. 
Waldar Manitan has always looked weird to me, this design takes that weirdness and turns it into coolness and strength, which is pretty impressive considering I've consistently felt this way about Darmanitan ever since it was revealed, and if a design like this could pull that off, Dude, that I think Darmanitan could definitely benefit from having an actual evolution. I am normally in favor of like crazy designs and like new stuff. This one though, I don't know. I don't know if I, I don't know if I like it per se. I do like regular Dramanitan, so I don't know. Maybe I'm just biased to that. Even if it's not very likely at all. In this particular category of Pokemon, there is one specific Pokemon that potentially got screwed over worse than any other in terms of getting a second evolution. And that Pokemon would be Jinx. Unlike the rest of these picks where there's merely potential for a cool no. second evolution, it's no. very possible that Jinx had it. And Wait, he, he wants to evolve Jinx? What is it going to turn into? You know, how much bigger lips can you ask for? Like, what does he want it? You know what I'm saying? It just never saw the light of day. This is because Jinx is a part of an unofficial trio with Electabuzz and Magmar. And over the years, the really? three have been a fairly tight-knit group. They even all got pre-evolutions in Generation 2, and Electabuzz and Magmar got evolutions in Gen 4. But sadly, in this scenario, Jinx just got the short end of the stick. Yeah, because what are you going to evolve Jinx into? Like, Pokemon would get so weird if you evolve Jinx! Given Don't the closeness not of these Jinx. Pokemon and them receiving evolutions and pre-evolutions all at the same time, it's very possible that a Jinx evolution was at least considered, but any attempt to bring any attention to Jinx was shelved after Gen 2 due to the huge amount of backlash and controversy surrounding this Pokemon. It's honestly uh -huh. a shame if true, but if Jinx had received an evolution just like its other two counterparts, it might have looked something like this design by Nige on Instagram. And honestly, not it's not a bad look. Yeah. I know a lot of people just don't like Jinx in general, but if its evolution was able to look something like this, I would take it. However, the cruel irony here is that even though this is the one entry on this list that has probably come the closest to actually happening, it's also probably the least likely now due to the aforementioned controversy. Yeah, and because Jinx is a trash Pokemon, I honestly don't know a single person who likes Jinx as a Pokemon. It looks like a grandma with a wig, with a massive wig on. I don't understand why it's even in the game. Another Pokemon that is almost universally looked down upon, that could stand to try and win some people over with an evolution, is Skuntank. Now, this is a little bit of a side note, but apparently skunks actually make great pets. If you take out like the, the thing that makes them stinky, they, they actually make great pets. So I, I might, maybe I should get a skunk someday. I don't know. That could be cool. People don't really dislike it because it's bad. It's more so because it's gross, but that is what it's trying to be. So it's kind of hated for successfully doing what it set out to do, which is a cruel, cruel piece of irony if I've ever heard one. However, even though with an evolution it would still be going the stinky route, it could at least up oh, the yeah. cool factor, this which I think vote. could win over a lot of people who only dislike it because it farts in its cry. Dude, wait, that makes me like it 10 times more. Are you kidding me? I did not know that it farts in its cry. Yo, Skuntank might be my new favorite Pokemon. Anyway, a design like this one by ah. Dad Drake on Instagram is a good example of the kind of thing I'm talking about. It doesn't divert from or sabotage the theme that Skuntank is going for, but instead it just tries to turn Skuntank into more of a bam. And if you don't know what I mean by that, feel free to look it up. But overall, I think it succeeds in doing that. So who knows, maybe one day Skuntank could get an evolution like this and people won't have to hate it anymore just for being itself. And finally, our last Pokemon of the video is going to be none other than Macargo. Macargo is certainly not a bad Pokemon by any means, but I 
<laughs> Whoever's gameplay this is, they named it Sugma. <laughs> also, I'm definitely in favor of a Macargo evolution. The only thing is, please change its typing. It has the worst typing ever. It makes it unusable. I also feel like it could definitely use some oomph at the same time. And I think there is a lot of potential for a Macargo evolution to be amazing. Yes. This design by J76-3701 on DeviantArt, which is a concept for that a mega evolution, cool. shows how Macargo's design can be expanded upon even while just intending to look like a mega. So a full-blown evolution, I think, would be fantastic. I feel like a third stage for the Macargo family could really turn this Pokemon into a powerhouse and turn it into a go-to fire type Pokemon that anyone would instantly add to their team whenever it became available. Well, the problem with Slugma, though, is it's so insanely slow because, well, it's a slug. And it has two four times weaknesses, ground and water. So, because it's so slow, it always gets hit first. And when it has weaknesses that are four times effective against it, it just gets m destroyed. It gets murked all the time. It doesn't matter how hard it hits. Although we have no idea if this will ever happen at all, I think it would be pretty cool. So, here's hoping that we might actually see it happen for real in the future. But anyway, that is it for the Pokemon that still deserve another evolution. If you guys did enjoy this video and want to watch another amazing one, you know what to do. Leave a like and click right here.